Watch parties are being planned across North Texas for the upcoming eclipse. A huge factor that day, of course, going to be the weather. So what's the forecast? Well, we don't know. It's way too early for a forecast, but we do know where the prime yeah. spots will be for the viewing. Fox 4 Chief Meteorologist Dan Henry has a look. We are drawing closer and closer to the big day. Of course, I am talking about April the 8th, the big solar eclipse. And as I unveil the map here across the entire United States, you can see we are going to be in a prime spot here in North Texas. That path of totality will be running right through North Texas, through Arkansas, into the Ohio Valley, and then from there into northern New England. Of course, uh, we see this uh, total solar eclipse as the uh, moon passes between the Earth and the sun. Let's take a closer look at the path of totality. And as we look at this, you can see much of the Metroplex is going to be in it, including places like McKinney, Dallas, Fort Worth, Cleburne, Hillsboro, Corsicana, Terrell, Greenville, all in that path of totality. It will begin the eclipse itself at 1223 uh, in the afternoon. It peaks, meaning we'll start to see that total eclipse at 142 in the afternoon. That's when the sky is really going to appear dark. Now that will only last on average for about three to maybe four minutes. And then as the sun reemerges out of the moon's shadow, uh, this will all come to an end at 302 in the afternoon. Of course, the big wild card here is the weather. And while we can't make a long range forecast yet for April the 8th, what I can tell you is that climatologically speaking, early April tends to favor clouds in the morning, giving way to sunshine as we head towards midday in the early afternoon. Of course, we can always be dealing with the threat of thunderstorms too. So going to be important to keep tabs on the forecast and of course we will do that here at Fox 4 so make uh, sure you keep tuned to our forecast as that day draws closer.